Yeah, for sure. Yep. No offense to the Charlotte yeah. media, but. <laughs> Was that your first playoff goal for you to make an yeah. impact when your number is called? Just what goes into your next man up mentality? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've been the next man up pretty much my whole career, so um, I know how to handle it, and uh, that's something you dream about as a kid scoring in the Stanley Cup playoffs, so uh, my kids will probably enjoy that one for sure. This has been a, a wild ride for you this whole season. Yeah. Just to tag on it, culminate. I was just, some games will happen to culminate with a moment like that right there. Yeah, I mean, it's a good payoff. Um, I like to think I work hard, uh, especially when no one's watching, and then uh, when you get on the stage, hopefully you get a shot on net and, and it goes in, so luckily it did. What do you about the team effort tonight? Obviously, you got to go loose. Mm -hmm. team. Everyone up and down the line was contributing. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch the highlights to see how that all, all <laughs> unfolded. Um, things happen pretty quick there, but um, obviously this time of year you need all 20 guys, and that's what we got. Can you just describe the feeling, like your first playoff goal, like a yeah. huge moment, kind of going nuts. Is, can, yeah. you, can you remember like, what's going through your mind? Or? Yeah, um, I probably will remember it and not sleep tonight um, phone might be going off a bit but uh, yeah that one uh, I guess was for Paris Ontario where I'm from so hopefully they all saw it Matthew's goal comes like 30 seconds after I and mean, that could have been a bracket mm -hmm. breaker for you guys just for him to get that goal and the way he does it where it's just like kind of relentless around the net just I mean, every goal in that period yeah. is obviously important, but that one especially. Felt yeah, I mean, Chucky's a, a big-time player, obviously. I don't want to throw the profanity in like Maurice didn't want to either, but he's a gamer. Um, that's what he's paid to do, and he does that. And just looking now at Game 7, obviously you guys were already clawing all the way back. A lot of pressure on Boston in their own mm -hmm. bar, and you guys feel pretty loose here going to the final game? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's highs and lows um, within the series, within the games. So um, we'll enjoy it tonight, I guess, and then get back at uh, get back on the plane tomorrow and take care of business, hopefully. Were your sons here in attendance? No, no, they weren't. Uh, my wife hit me last night at 9 p.m. to get some plans to come here, but uh, it didn't unfold. But hopefully keep playing. They can come watch some more. We've been saying all year that this team is built for the playoffs mm -hmm. and work through some stuff and everything, but to see you guys just push the Bruins <laughs> to, to the brink here, mm -hmm. I mean, says a lot about this team as a whole, right? Yeah, I think we played playoff hockey. It was preached, uh, I know it's a cliche, but the day one of training camp, it was the way we were going to play. So it's not like we had to get into the playoffs and play a different way. We've been playing that way from what I've seen the whole year. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks guys.